it's, it's something that you debate almost daily, right? So, so if you think about private credit, because it's private, the, in, any, any loan out there, that bilateral agreement with the company and whoever that private credit institution is, they can, they can kick the can as long as they want, right? They can delay the inevitable. They're the only investor. It's a private deal. Um, and so there is that sort of, is there the ac activity of just delaying, uh, you know, entities that are going to, you know, eventually falter. The other point is, is there are a lot of new private credit platforms. Well, what do you think? If you're a new private credit platform and you need to put money to work, what do you think ends up happening? More than likely, you end up doing the deal that all the big guys passed on because they see a lot of opportunities and they don't have to do that deal. So if there are 200 new private credit companies out there, private credit funds, there is a possibility that there are 200 bad deals out there, right? And when I say bad, it could be mispriced, it could be over levered, or it just could be a bad business, right? And so there in itself creates a pipeline of potential uh, restructurings, if you will. So, but as, again, as long as money is cheap and as long as it's, it's plentiful, you can delay that process for some period of time. And that's, that's a little bit what, what could be going on today. Brian, did I answer your question, by the way? Because I just want to make sure, you know, you're a Columbia guy and you're in the middle of my screen. So I just want to make sure you're happy. No, that definitely answered. I, I guess one little maybe addendum to that. Do you think that there'll be a shift to as maybe credit gets a little bit more expensive, that institutional will take a little bit bigger bite than private credit has recently? So you're seeing that, you're seeing that now. So because of the success in March and April of the coming out of that, and you're seeing the investment banks be more aggressive about underwriting and distributing that risk. Uh, and, and in a lot of times beating out what private credit is going to offer them. So private credit allows certainty of execution. It, you know, it can, it can be, it can be much faster than a public process, but in the current market, I would say the banks are, are cheaper. Their indicative rates are cheaper than, than the rates we would quote in private credit. And if I'm a company, I'd rather go with the indicative rate if the market's that robust, because more than likely, if let's and when I say indicative, let's say XYZ company is getting quoted uh, from a bank four and a half percent, and I say I do that deal at six, they're going to go down the bank route because there's enough cushion there in the market being robust. More than likely, even if it's not an easy deal, it may still get done at five. Uh, and so the investment banks are definitely being more aggressive about. Uh, underwriting the risk in a market where it's easier to distribute because of capital.